Howdy YouTube family, it's Bolt CRNA coming to you again with another day's topic. So today is actually a vlog. I went to Disneyland, uh, specifically I went to the Galaxy's Edge within Disneyland, which is like Star Wars, the Star Wars land that's in there. And uh, I vlogged a lot of it, and I dressed up and cosplayed and did a whole bunch of cool stuff. I built my own lightsaber. I rode on the Millennium Falcon. I met Chewbacca. I hung out with Rey. I saw Kylo Ren and Stormtroopers. I drank the blue milk. I did the whole thing. So I vlogged it, and I'm going to piece it together for you guys today so you get a chance to see what it's like over there. And let's get into it. started off our morning bright and early with some Batu breakfast, the Rising Moon's Overnight Oats. Only $6.99 credits, pretty good, fairly healthy. It's good. What you got in there? You got the oats, you got these little boba balls, some kind of passion fruit thing. Ah. Yeah. What about you, Swags? What you got going on? More of the same. Pretty delicious. Yeah. Just for fun or for the camera's sake, but no. After breakfast, we wandered around the park and saw R2-D2 rolling around and Vi Marathi, who's supposed to be a resistance spy. She, she wanders around the park and she's always interacting with the guests and other characters just to create an immersive experience for you. And then, of course, Ray shows up. She's also talking to him and they, they interact with you guys, too, so they let you kind of feel like you're part of the resistance and part of their crew. There's me taking a photo with Ray, of course. And Chewbacca saw me. He wanted to hang out with me. He assumed I was some kind of pilot, which was supposed to be my costume. And then, of course, other people in the park made it fun, too, like that guy wearing a Yoda backpack. And There's tons of merch you can buy, resistance merch. You can go to the markets here and see uh, different animals you can buy. As you can see here, Porgs and that um, little thing from The Return of the Jedi. I forget its name. This one is actually an animatronic, uh, I think it's a loath cat, and it's, um, it's got like a movable tail and it makes noises. It's a pretty cool little creature in a cage there. Then we went to get in line for the Millennium Falcon ride called Smuggler's Run. That's me piloting the Millennium Falcon. After that, we went outside and saw the show. But I get it. Am I clear? The stormtroopers are great. They wander around the park and they um, they talk to the guests and kind of harass you a little bit. They'll pull kids off to the side and you know act like they're in violation of something and just really give you that immersive experience, like you're dealing with real stormtroopers. But they're always friendly in the end. They they um, they never really mean any harm. Then you can go shop for some. Um, First Order merch in the First Order part of Batu. Then I went over to the Droid Depot, which is this room here. They have um, the ability for you to create your own droid from scratch and kind of custom make your own droid. I think it's $100 to do that. And then outside, people kind of take their little custom droids and they wheel them around with each other and stuff. Then we ventured out of Batu in off planet to Disneyland and we rode some other rides, you know, some of the classic Jungle Cruise and some of the Thunder Mountain ride. We essentially were killing time because we had reservations uh, for the cantina and some of the lunch stuff later on, so we were just killing time that morning and having fun. And then my friend, uh, he drug us on this ride. It's a small world after all. Um, probably one of the worst rides ever created. And 
It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small world. Back in Batu, we went over to Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities, and he's the guy who has a bunch of like Jedi artifacts. He has rare things from across the Star Wars galaxy that you can purchase. Some things you can't purchase though, they're all just on along the wall. Uh, there's all these legacy lightsabers you can buy here behind the glass. Then they have Jedi holocrons that you can purchase. And if you insert in different uh, kyber crystals inside the holocron, they make different noises and have different uh, sentences and messages for you depending on the Jedi. And then there's the Sith holocron, which can give you a lot more Sith type messages and you know messages of power and control. Now it's time for lunch. My buddies had the Andorian fried chicken tip yip, which they said was good. And uh, I had the Felucian kefta and hummus, uh, which was pretty good. It's vegan, and, uh, and I, I liked it. I'm not a big vegan guy, but it was good. Now the Kyber crystals here, this is what you can buy in Doc Ondar's, which is where you can um, get these crystals and later on I knew I was going to be building a lightsaber and these crystals will give you the power to change the color of your lightsaber and the sound of your lightsaber and every like one out of every ten you your red crystal is actually a, an obsidian crystal it's very rare and uh, so my hope was that I would would get lucky and get that rare black obsidian crystal and there's all three the white yellow and red that I purchased Kyber crystals kind of embody the idea of power, and that's what gives you the ability to harness power in, in your lightsaber. Then we went over to um, Olga's Cantina. You can see the line there outside. It's really cool just to go in there and to feel the ambiance and just have the different really cool drinks, some of which like make your mouth go numb, and they all have really interesting names that uh, are from the Star Wars universe. And they're all very like colorful and bright, and, and they're designed to look alien, so that it's it's like an unusual kind of cocktail experience. There you see the blue milk with some kind of cookie on top. That was my buddies. And then mine was the fuzzy tauntaun there, the yellow one in the middle, and then the fizz on top makes your mouth go numb. And I forget what that other one to the right is. Outside the cantina, Kylo Ren was roaming around. Uh, he goes out to harass people too, and he always has stormtroopers following him, and he will, um, he'll give them a hard time, and it's kind of almost like a comedy. They kind of are like bumbling idiots around Kylo Ren usually. But Kylo Ren is actually pretty intimidating when you're up near him. And he'll pick people out of the crowd like this girl here and he'll like pull them aside and kind of give them a hard time. It's really immersive. It, it makes you really feel like you're in the land. Now this is Savi's workshop which is where you get to go and create your own lightsaber for like 200 bucks. There's four different themes for your lightsaber. I chose protection and defense, and that is the pin. Each uh, style of lightsaber you choose, they'll give you a certain pin. And that's me wearing my pin, and that identifies to the builders here which lightsaber you're gonna be building, the type. And they also offer you different kyber crystals that you can pick from here, which will be uh, the color of your lightsaber once you craft it. You get to pick uh, what pieces that you want to piece together your lightsaber with so everyone's gonna have a slightly different looking um, lightsaber and it makes it more personal I think it's a bit daunting. but have no fear we'll go over everything in just a moment now go ahead and pick up your pieces pick them up touch them if you'd like run this journey together and together Activate as one. Are you ready to take this next step? Take a deep breath. Place your hand on your hilt. And all together, activate. Raise your lightsabers high. You have just 
two can change the galaxy. They're already Remember, fighting each other. Billy takes the score. <laughs> Hold them high and proud. Well done. Well done indeed. Now please lower and deactivate your lightsabers. Devon. After being on the high of building your own lightsaber, we finally got onto the Rise of Resistance ride, which we've been waiting on all day. This is like 5 p.m. in the afternoon now. And um, the line is pretty long, and a lot of people don't even get the opportunity to ride this ride because of it being so popular. So we were just hyped to actually get the opportunity to get on here. As you're standing in line, you're seeing all of this Resistance stuff. Is everyone Thank you, Nine Now. Black Leader, are you and your team ready? Affirmative. The whole ride is, is more it's more of a, uh, an experience instead of a ride. You move from place to place inside this ride and um, you have like interrogation chambers, you have different cast members who are interacting with you. You get put like in a jail cell here, um, and you're supposed to be like on a first order first ship. Order. We will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side and now then the resistance springs you out and you jump on this moving platform with seats. I see no evidence now. I found the alarm. All personnel to their stations. Sir, the so, and you get out. And so I don't want to spoil all the details of the ride for you, but it was a really awesome ride. I definitely recommend trying to get a ticket to see it. And then it was the evening time. I had some Outpost mix, which is like popcorn with spicy and sweet flavors. And then it was time to take photos. Disneyland employees take photos of you with your lightsabers in front of the Millennium Falcon at night. They really make sure that you get that, the good pictures and the good experience you want to kind of make you feel like your day was worth it there. What did you guys think? Did it look like fun? Do you guys want to go to Galaxy's Edge too? Am I a complete major nerd? Yes, I am. It's true. You can admit it. I admit it. Uh, but I enjoy being a nerd and I love having a lightsaber. I love that kind of stuff. And I say let your freak flag fly, baby. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this with your friends, especially those who like Disneyland and like Star Wars and lightsabers and all that kind of stuff. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part about Disneyland is. And if you've been, what did you do there that I didn't do that I need to go back and do again? Because trust me, I'm, I'm ready to go back. Just give me a reason. And we'll see you next time for the next adventure. Bolt out.